All right, get out your King James Bible, turn to Jeremiah chapter 42, continuation of the Jeremiah series. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And Jesus is that light of life. Jeremiah 42 and verse 1. Then all the captain, captains of the forces, and Johanan, the son of Karia, and Jerzaniah, the son of Hoshaniah, and all the people from the least even unto the greatest came near, and said unto Jeremiah the prophet, Let we beseech thee our supplication be accepted before thee, and pray for us unto the Lord thy God, even for all this remnant. For we are left but a few of many, as thine eyes do behold us. That the Lord thy God may show us the way wherein we may walk, and the thing that we may do. Then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you, behold, I will pray unto the Lord your God according to your words, and it shall come to pass that whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare it unto you, and I will keep nothing back from you. Then they said to Jeremiah, The Lord be a true and faithful witness between us, if we do not even according to all the things for the which the Lord thy God shall send thee to us, whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God to whom we send thee, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. And it came to pass after ten days that the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah. Then called he Johanan the son of Kariah, and all the captains of the forces which were with him, and all the people, from the least, even to the greatest. Verse 9. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, unto whom ye sent me to present your supplication before him. If ye will abide in this land... Then I will build you up, uh, then will I build you and not pull you down. And I will plant you and not pluck you up, for I repent me of the evil that I have done unto you. So stay put, people. Don't, you know, don't be wanting to leave. Don't be afraid. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, saith the Lord, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. And I will show mercies unto you, that he may have mercy upon you and cause you to return to your own land. But if ye say, We will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your God, saying, No, but we will go into the land of Egypt where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have hunger of bread, and there will we dwell. And now therefore hear the word of the Lord, ye remnant of Judah. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, If ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt, and go to sojourn there, then it shall come to pass, that the sword which ye feared shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt. And the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you there in Egypt, and there ye shall die. See, the Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt. He doesn't want them to go back to Egypt. 
17. So shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there. They shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. And none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them. I think the Lord's making a point here. He wants you to stay in the land of Judah. What do you think? Verse 18. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as mine anger and my fury hath been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be poured forth upon you when ye shall enter into Egypt, and ye shall be an execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach, and ye shall see this place no more. Uh, execration. It's a curse. I had to look that up. I didn't even know. I've read this before. So if you go down into Egypt, uh, when ye shall enter into Egypt, and ye shall be an execration, a curse, and an astonishment, and a curse. Ugh, when, you know, when the Lord says something twice in the same sentence, pay attention. And a reproach, and ye shall see this place no more. The Lord hath said concerning you, O ye remnant of Judah, go ye not into Egypt. Know certainly that I have admonished you this day. For ye dissembled in your hearts when ye sent me unto the Lord your God, saying, Pray for us unto the Lord our God, and according unto all that the Lord our God shall say, so declare unto us, and we will do it. And now I have this day declared it to you, but ye have not obeyed the voice of the Lord your God, nor anything for the which he hath sent me unto you. Now therefore know certainly that ye shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence in the place whither ye desire to go and to sojourn. And that is the end of Jeremiah 42. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.